Captain, oh, sir, sir, I just received this communique from the public information officer. Guess who's flying in here this afternoon? Don't tell me. It's Peter Pan. Well, sir, but you were very close. It's Pete Morgan, the famous war photographer. He's arriving here this afternoon to do a layout for Globe magazine. Pete Morgan yes, is sir. coming here? Well, he's photographed all the greats. He's photographed Ike and Marley and Bull Halsey. Now he wants to do me. Oh, well, he'll want me in full battle dress, I'm sure. Uh, sir, sir, wait. Uh, sir, believe me, I think you'd better read the rest of this. I don't have to read it, Elroy. I got the message. I'm going to be featured in Globe magazine. Captain, will you wait? Please, please. Now, Elroy, you think that the hand grenades on the belt here will be too much for the cover? <laughs> Captain Pete Morgan isn't coming here to photograph you. I don't care what he's coming here for, as long as I... What do you mean by a crack like that? Well, sir, he's coming to do a layout of... Commander McHale, I'm afraid you didn't read far enough. McHale? Well, I'm not going to let him hog my publicity. When that photographer gets here, McHale and his hyenas are going to be so far away that I'm going to be the only war hero around here. War hero? But, sir, you've never been in battle. You wouldn't even know how to get there. Hush! Oh, I didn't mean that, you sir. You want to have your little forked tongue cut off. <laughs> oh, hi, Captain. Top of the morning to you, sir. Well, we're here for the picture, sir. That's right. The rest of the boys will be right over. They stop by the barbershop and get a little trim. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> How did you know about the... I just found out a few minutes ago. Really? Oh, we knew that Pete Morgan was coming hours ago. <laughs> hey, Captain, what are you doing in that dude battle outfit? Boy. Yeah, boy, the last time you posed in that outfit what, was a pretty Christmas card, remember? <laughs> get funny with me, fatty. Get this big bat out of here and get him back to your base. Oh, but we can't, Captain. We gotta wait for Pete Morgan, the pictures, remember? When Pete Morgan gets here for the pictures, you and your goon squad are gonna be out patrolling Barzini Straits. I thought you knew everything. Barzini Straits? Well, Captain, we were up there last night. As a matter of fact, the British have four destroyers patrolling there right now, so they certainly don't need us. <laughs> I don't know. They might need you to run out and get some tea bags. Ah! <laughs> uh, you've got a direct order from your commanding officer. Now move. But, Captain, you can't do this. My boys are counting on having their pictures in Globe magazine where they've earned it. All you've earned is an insubordination rap if you don't move out. Now, scram. <laughs> oh, come on, chocolate. <laughs> no, I'm not going. I owe it to my mother and the folks back in Chagrin to have my picture shot. If you don't get out of here, you're going to get shot, all right? <laughs> Just watch it. Don't shoot. I was only kidding. Oh, no, sir, please. No, don't you do it. Don't do it, Chuck. No, no, Skip. He drew on me first. Chuck, don't you do it. That's an order. That's an order. Well, all right, here. <laughs> The war is over. The war is over. And how it's over. Well, it's fun. Of course, he's in who do you think he is? And then he'll back. Okay, boys, here we go. Let's get on board. We're going out on patrol. What is all this? PT set strike? Skip, you coming with us? We're going over and picking Lead Bottom's office. Have you guys flipped? Come on, get rid of them cards and let's get moving. Come on. But, Skip, we want to be on the cover of Globe magazine. Binghamton's jipping us out of our chance to be famous. Skip, are we going to let them get away with it? Well, now, who says we're letting them get away with it? You mean we're not going out on patrol? Oh, we're going to go out on patrol, all right. But we're going to take Mr. Pete Morgan with us. Uh, now, are there any more questions? Wait a minute, Skip, have you flipped? Yeah, how are we going to do that? Well, now, that's simple enough. Mr. Parker is going over to the airstrip and pick up Mr. Pete Morgan. Then he's going to drive him over to the San Giorgio Point, where we'll pick them both up, and away we'll go. And he can take pictures of us in action. Lead bottom going down to meet Mr. Morgan's plane, too? Uh-uh. Seeing as how he just got a message from operations saying that uh, Mr. Pete Morgan's plane would be about an hour late. That's right. Just call me Sergeant Beauregard. <laughs> Why, he fell for that story, just like bumblebees humming over a corn pone. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the bravest one of all? Sir, 
Oh, boob. Don't sneak up on me like you realize I gotta plug you. Well, I am terribly sorry, sir, but you have to leave for the airstrip right away. Why? What's the rush? Just checked with operations. Pete Morgan's plane will be in for an hour. Well, that's odd, sir, because I just received a call from Lieutenant Keller out at the strip, and he said the plane would be 15 minutes early. Well, I wish they'd make up their minds, for heaven's sakes. I... Wait a minute. Something going on here. I thought that rebel sergeant's voice sounded familiar. That was Parker. <clears throat> Sir, Commander McHale and his cutthroats must be plotting something. They didn't go out on patrol at all, I'll bet. Oh, this is beautiful, Elroy. This is disobedience of a direct order. <laughs> you pick up Pete Morgan and tell him to be sure that his camera is loaded. Where are you going, sir? I'm going to get the cover picture of the year. A band of mutineers being brought in by Killer Wally Binghamton. Get I, I, Killer, <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir. Uh, oh, Mikhail, this time I'm really going to get you. Das ist ja Marineuniform, hm? Sitz sie an, schnell! Ganz gute Idee! Seventy-three boat is gone. Where do you suppose they could be? Ah, I still here. My mutineers are here. <laughs> all right, everybody in there. Achoo. Freeze, you're all under... Oh, darn it. Stand right where you are. I pick up my bullets. <laughs> Ow! Stand up, Captain, or not a sound out of you. How dare you step on my hand like that? It's Schwein. Schwein? Schwein? Who are you people? It is most unfortunate that you drop by, Captain, but very fortunate for us. Raus with the uniform in Schnell. Oh, oh, my Raus with the... Oh, you're, you're German. So oh, I didn't know that. I thought, in those uniforms, I thought you were Mikhail and his men, you see. I, I hope nothing I said offended you, but I'll just be Avita sating along. Halt! <laughs> Take one step when you are a dead captain. Dead cat. Oh, no, don't shoot. I mean, don't... I, I want to help you, you see. What are enemies for if they can't help each other? Here, you forgot one. <laughs> oh, that's very kind of you, see. We have been separated from our patrol, and we must get back to our lines. Do you have a car? Yeah, oh, I have a Jeep right outside. You'll you like it. You'll be my guest. Oh, I am so glad you're not one of those name, rank, and serial number dumb cops. Well, I'll give you that, too, if you want. I'll... Very, very good, then. Here go. The <laughs> Allegheny. I'll show you where my Jeep is, but please don't take me with you because I'm terrible to travel with. I get car sick and everything. All right, quiet. We need you to talk for us in case we get stopped. So, eine Verrückte. Yeah, eine sehr große Idiota. If you don't take me, I'm not going to snitch because some of my best friends are Germans. Yeah, I even had the German measles. I loved it. The science. You do as I say or you will force me to go bang bang. Now move. <laughs> Sayonara, let bottom. Yeah, fans, all right. Hey, maybe it's not getting any suction. Let's see. Uh. Thank you. Get the suction. Uh. uh. How are you? Uh, say, uh, my Jeep conked out. I was wondering if, uh, uh, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have to go air strip -o. Uh, see, uh, could I borrow bike-o? Uh, no habla Italian, huh? But, uh, borrow bike-o? <laughs> Get that. There you go. Uh, thank you. Gracias. Yeah. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> See you around. Pick it up at the airstrip. Gracias. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but... Uh, we are out, out of gas. gas. <laughs> you stupid schwein, I ought to shoot you. No, no, no don't shoot me. You, you ought to shoot my aide. That's Carpenter. I'll point him out to you if I see he's a schwein. You don't know what I have to put oh, up. shut up! Dunkov, nicht alle gasoline. Ja, große Dunkov. Yes, that's what I'm... Well, look, I've got a marvelous idea. You're gonna love this. But I'll go and get some gasoline, and you fellas stay here. I'll be right back. Halt! <laughs> we will all go for gasoline. Now, where is the nearest town? The nearest town is Volta Fiore, but you won't like that. It's full of stupid Americana Schweinhorns. Yeah, we will like that. We will go with you. And you will say that we are new sailors. Replacements. <laughs> <laughs> and if you try to warn anyone, you are kaput. Now, we push. I'll steer. You push. Better. <laughs> Ship in wagon. Well, again, the Huh? Oh, how are you? Just, oh, hey, Mac, don't you know how to drive? Don't you know that a sailor on a bicycle has a right away? No, that's bumbling klutz. Yeah, well, get rid of the bumbling klutz. <laughs> well, I mean, you're talking to an officer. Straighten up, boy. Don't you know how to salute? <laughs> well, that's better. Now, what's going on here? Speak up, speak up. Sir, we is out mid gas, yeah? Yeah, <clears throat> mid gas, uh, huh? Uh, oh, now, look at Knock it off with the cats and jammer talk. I mean, after all, we... Uh, you haven't been drinking, have you? Huh? Aha! Sauerkraut. Just like I thought. Okay, you're gonna get it. I'm gonna put it on my report. Driving under the influence of sauerkraut. Parker. Hi, Captain. How are you? Guess what I found? Your driver's been drinking sauerkraut. Captain Binghamton. Uh... Well, uh, now, look, don't get sore. Uh, I can explain why I'm not out in the mission with no, the rest of the no, guys. No, that I... boy, that's all right, boy. You're forgiven for that. Now, you shoo. Shoo, shoo, uh, shoo. You mean you're not mad, even a teeny-weeny no, bit? No. Well, I thought that... No, me... I'm not mad. No, no. Do you see these nice boys here? They're helping me push my Jeep back to town. It's just out of gas. Now, you get on your little bicycle, and you're dismissed, okay? Yeah. You sure you feel all right? You're acting a little flaky. <laughs> <laughs> He's always with the... No, 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 I'm fine. Shoo, shoo, yeah. shoo, shoo. Hey, uh, I want to ask you something. Uh, where'd you get these guys anyway? I mean, they're a little sloppy, aren't they? Look at the guy's coat. I'm like, get your hands out of your pockets, will you? Come on. <clears throat> there, now, doesn't that look better? Look at that. Look at that. All right, American the Schwein. We take you prisoner, too. Now, uh, you guys don't understand. You see, we're all in the Navy. Uh, didn't you explain to them that we're all the good guys? Yeah. Admit what the Germans. They, well, I can see that... Uh, <clears throat> German, there, and with the blood. Uh, All right, stop talking. We're wasting too much time. Now push. Uh, push. Come on, Rouse, Rouse. Rouse, schnell. And if we meet anyone, not a word out of either of you. Come on, schnell, schnell. Hey, you mean these guys are really Germans and we're really prisoners? No, this is just a fraternity initiation. No, no, no. quiet. No talking. When one false move and you and your fat comrade will end up with holes in your heads. He's not a comrade of mine. I don't like them, man. I can hardly stand them, as a matter of fact. Hey, watch you. You're pushing. You miserable little creep. Hey, now stop, me. You stop the fight. You please. Stop it, dear. Oh, come on, no, behave. Stand him. You gotta give me my bullets back. Now, let me borrow your gun. I'm gonna... oh, no, what are you doing there, you stupid Americans? You hate each other worse than you hate me. Now push the jeep. What are you doing? Stop it, stop it. 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 I just can't figure out why Mr. Pocket didn't meet us at the rendezvous. Oh, but if it happens, Skip, maybe Pete Morgan's plane really was late. Oh, he waited two hours for him. Maybe he forgot where he was supposed to meet us. Oh, no. Let's ask Fooch. Maybe he's... Hey. Holy jumping, Hannah. Look at this. Wow. Get a load of our place, will you? Welcome, Holmes, boys. Hooray! It's time to celebrate. Hey, hey, wait a minute. What, what, what gives, Fooch? And besides, have you seen Mr. Parker? No. I thought he was with you. This is victory party. Enjoy. Here you are. Enjoy, enjoy. Oh, victory party. Was the war over? War is red bottom over. He not bug us anymore. Well, what happened to Binghamton? He and German patrol both come snooping around at the same time. They took him prisoner. You mean that Jerry's took Captain Binghamton prisoner? Thunderbird! <laughs> Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. 
<laughs> now, look, I want to get rid of Binghamton just as much as you do, but not this way. All right, now, let's find out what happened. Now, how long ago did they take him away? Mr. Morgan, I know you're disappointed about Commander McHale not being here, but you believe me, Captain Binghamton is a much bigger hero. Lieutenant, will you stop building up Binghamton? I came here to see McHale. But, and I don't like the fast shuffle that I... What the devil is that? Hmm? <laughs> Looks like your famous war hero ran out of gas. Oh, Captain! Captain! Uh, it's, uh, it's a carpenter. That's, that's my stupid aide. Send him for gasoline. And if you both want to live... Don't try any tricks. No tricks, no tricks. <laughs> Would you ask him if feigning is a trick? <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain, what happened? And why aren't you out on patrol? Uh, yeah, well, be quiet, be quiet. But, uh, but, just go and get us some cans of I, gasoline. We're in a big hurry. Here, go. But Sir Pete Morgan is here. Hmm? And I think I've talked him into taking pictures of you, sir. You're as good as on the cover of Globe magazine right now. <laughs> Pete Morgan, a pit now? No pictures. Well, let's get on our way. Hey, wait a minute. Stop that. Did you hear me? I saw no, no, no. oh. Captain, who are these men? Uh, the captain is giving us a lift back to our base, and we're late now. Isn't that right, Captain? They're going back to the base now. It's, very, it's a matter of life and death. Yeah, ours. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. but, Captain, Mr. Morgan has to leave, and don't worry about these sales. They can hitch a ride on the supply truck. There's one coming by every few minutes. Uh, Mr. Morgan, yeah, would yeah. you please? Yeah. Mr. Morgan, yeah. would, yeah. sir, you... Yeah. Cap, sir! Uh, Mr. Morgan, sir, here he is, our famous fighting man, Volta Fiore's war hero, Captain Killer Wally Binghamton. And I'm Ensign Peaceful Parker. Oh. I never harmed anybody. Excuse me, Captain, but we had better be going. <laughs> Will you be quiet? Enlisted men should be seen and not heard. Now go hitch a ride with somebody else. Scat, Shut scat, your scat. mouth. But He's sir, none of my guests. But, Shut up. But, sir, they'll only clutter up your pictures. Mind your own business. Well, Killer Wally, the uh, lieutenant here tells me you've seen a lot of action. Uh, how many Germans would you say you've killed so far? <laughs> Germans? I, well, I haven't killed a single German. I wouldn't... Oh, for heaven. Okay. Live and let live, I always say. Yeah, me too. I'm with him. I wouldn't even hurt a German flea. Captain, we must be going. Yeah. For the last time, sailor, will you please be quiet? You too. Now, sir, please, 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 don't be so modest. I've already told Mr. Morgan that they don't call you Kraut Killer Binghamton for nothing, huh? <laughs> Kraut Killer <laughs> You're a liar. He's lying. I'm not... And he's drunk. Look at him. The man, he's a drunken liar. You can... Well, you shut up. Quit babbling. Quit babbling. You go and sober up someplace. Beat it. Go get the gas. Beat it. <laughs> they never called me crowd killer, did they? No, no. They called you a lot of other things, but never that. Never heard of it. Captain, you and your aide better get your story straight. You trying to tell me you've never been in battle? You've never been shot at by the enemy? Well, uh, not yet, anyway. <laughs> not yet. Well, I'll see you around. Let's go, boy. All right, man. Wait Wait the captain. Let's go. Hey, captain, you know, mm -hmm. up to now, I had you tagged as a phony hero. <laughs> You're right about that. That's what I am. I'm a phony. I'm a real phony. I, the men even call me chicken. Is that right, Parker? Uh, chicken. Oh, yeah, yeah, they call him chicken. In fact, he's so chicken, we throw him corn. <laughs> That's right about him. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm not buying. Anyone plays himself down like you do has got to be the real thing. I'm gonna shoot me some pictures. Hey, that's them all right. Holy jump banana! Look, those Jerry's got Chuck and a, and a photographer, too. Hey, well, how come they're acting so buddy-buddy, Skip? Yeah, stop and have their pictures taken. Skip, are you sure those are Germans? Yeah, those are the Jerry's, all right. It looks to me like they worked themselves into some kind of a spot they can't get out of. What are we waiting for? Let's jump them. No, no, no. Hold it. You can't jump them. The very first thing those Jerry's would do is to shoot our people. Here, take a look. You see them? They're keeping them covered with those guns inside their jackets. Their jackets? Our jackets. Skip, we got to do something. Well, we are going to do... We are going to do something. We're going to begin by stashing our weapons. Stashing our weapons? You're kidding. Oh, now, wait, now, wait a minute, Skip. Those juries have our 45. Will you guys listen to me? Those juries aren't going to stay there all day. Now, come on, stash those weapons. I'll tell you how we're going to work. Now, come on. All right, hold it, everybody. Still? That's it. Good. Uh, now, Captain, I know you must hate publicity, but you're to the folks back home. Now, I want to get one more of you pushing the jeep back from your mission. Captain, tell him we cannot wait any longer. We must be going. At ease, sailor. This layout happens to be for Globe magazine. You know, you're getting a break. The folks back home will be able to see you. 
Well, yeah, yeah, he's right. Uh, well, uh, uh, Globe is the biggest selling magazine back in America. <laughs> uh, did you get it in your country? <laughs> what do you mean, their country? What country are you fellas from? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, well, I was just uh, kidding. See, these guys are from Brooklyn, and we're always kidding about being foreigners. <laughs> yeah, the Dodgers. <laughs> yeah, the booms. Oh. <laughs> All right, now, uh, see, you two fellas switch place. You stand over there, Captain, right next to Mr. Parker. And I want you boys smiling at the Captain like you're real proud to be on his team, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, come on, fellas, don't look so glum. Give me a great big smile. That's it. Hold it. Okay, now, I want to get one more. Hiya, buddy. <laughs> and there's old Chucky, baby. Hell, <laughs> you're drunk. So you're Mikhail, huh? Brother, did I get the wrong story? I know who you are, old Pity Morgan. <laughs> and that's your little old camera. Clicky, clicky, clicky. Hiya, <laughs> baby. Get rid of this drunken swine. <laughs> All right, you drunken swine, get back to the base. That's an order. Oh, come on, Captain. We want to take a picture with you guys. I wouldn't waste my film on you, Mikhail. You're a disgrace to the Navy. Oh, what? I'm a disgrace. Did you hear what he called me, Captain? He called me a disgrace. I heard, I heard. Captain, we're taking their jeep. Tell them. All right, men, come on, let's go. All right, all right, wait a minute. You can take our little jeepy weepy, but first you gotta take a picture. You gotta take a picture. Yeah. Now, come on, let's take a picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we'll hurry up. We're running a little late. Oh, yeah, we're running a little late, boys. So gather in now. Everybody get in the picture. Remember now. One, two, three. Watch the buddy. And say, she's yeah. All right, hold it right there, buddy. Hey, what is this? You heard the man reach. Now, don't make me shoot you. I don't want to put a hole in my own uniform. Ah, oh, ball game, swine hunt. Everybody okay? What's going on? Senor Andrunk. You Americans don't fight fair. Oh, that's too bad. When you get over to the PW camp, you can tell it all to the chaplain. Hey, how about that, Captain? Our boys did it. Mikhail, I owe you and your men an apology. It was a brilliant plan. <laughs> well, well, what's so brilliant? I mean, after I had them captured, I was just holding them here for you to take their picture. Of you. Mikhail and his goons are just grandstanding. Grand what? Oh, come on, Captain. You know that they were holding you hostage. Yeah, that's right. You keep out of it. What hostage? You couldn't hold me. I could take you with one hand. I'll give you a good one. You ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right, you winehouse, you're under arrest. Captain, Captain, come right in, sir. Come right in. You're just in time to help us celebrate our picture being on the front cover of Globe magazine. I don't <laughs> care about that. I... What about Globe magazine? What? We made it, Wally. Look. Yeah. See here, Pete Morgan sent us a copy of the picture. Going to use on the cover. Well, I'm not in it. All I see are you baboons. What happened to me? Oh well, uh, Pete Morgan sent one for you too, sir. Here, take a look at that. Oh, that. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He print a thing like that, I'll sue him for every nickel he's got. Oh, well, no, he, he said he won't put it in the magazine unless we tell him to. Uh, unless you tell. Well, you, you, you wouldn't tell him to, would you? Oh, well, now, uh, not if you um, behave yourself, Wally. I mean, you know, treat us nice and just don't ball us out and just be sweet to us, sir. <laughs> well, I, I'm always sweet to you boys, yeah. aren't I? I mean, I'm going to be one of the sweetest CEOs you've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, nothing will be too good for you. But, well, let's keep the party going. Yes. Let's get the vino party. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on, music. Let's dance, Chucky. Come on. Come on. Come on. Captain, oh, sir, sir. I just received this communique from the public information officer. Guess who's flying in here this afternoon? Don't tell me. It's Peter Pan. <laughs> so, but you were very close. It's Pete Morgan, the famous war photographer. He's arriving here this afternoon to do a layout for Globe magazine. Pete Morgan yes, is sir. coming here? Well, he's photographed all the greats. He's photographed Ike and Marley and Bull Halsey. Now he wants to do me. Oh, well, he'll want me in full battle dress, I'm sure. Uh, sir, sir, wait. Uh, sir, believe me, I think you'd better read the rest of this. 
I don't have to read it, Elroy. I got the message. I'm going to be featured in Globe magazine. Captain, will you wait? Please, please. Uh, Elroy, you think that the hand grenades on the belt here will be too much for the cover? <laughs> Pete Morgan isn't coming here to photograph you. I don't care what he's coming here for, as long as I... What do you mean by a crack like that? Well, sir, he's coming to do a layout of... Commander McHale, I'm afraid you didn't read far enough. McHale? Well, I'm not going to let him hog my publicity. When that photographer gets here, McHale and his hyenas are going to be so far away that I'm going to be the only war hero around here. War hero? But, sir, you've never been in battle. You wouldn't even know how to get there. <laughs> oh, hush! Oh, I didn't mean that, sir. You ought to have your little forked tongue cut off. <laughs> oh, hi, Captain. Top of the morning to you, sir. <laughs> well, we're here for the picture, sir. That's right. <laughs> the rest of the boys will be right over. They stop by the barbershop and get a little trim. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> How did you know about the... I just found out a few minutes ago. Really? Oh, we knew that Pete Morgan was coming hours ago. <laughs> hey, Captain, what are you doing in that dude battle outfit? Boy. Yeah, boy, the last time you posed in that outfit <laughs> was a pretty Christmas card, remember? <laughs> get funny with me, fatty. Get this big bat out of here and get him back to your base. Oh, but we can't, Captain. We gotta wait for Pete Morgan, the pictures, remember? When Pete Morgan gets here for the pictures, you and your goon squad are gonna be out patrolling Barzini Straits. I thought you knew everything. Barzini Straits? Well, Captain, we were up there last night. As a matter of fact, the British have four destroyers patrolling there right now, so they certainly don't need us. <laughs> I don't know. They might need you to run out and get some tea bags. <laughs> ah! You've got a direct order from your commanding officer. Now move. But, Captain, you can't do this. My boys are counting on having their pictures in Globe.